some of your assignments will be completed in a group. You can expect throughout your college career to work on labs, projects, assignments with a partner or with a group. When you're working with a small group of students, your ability to communicate, share the workload, compromise with your fellow students, that's what's really valued. It's vital to be an active participant and to take an equal part of the responsibility. Now there's kind of two things that happen with group work, two opposite sides. Sometimes you have a student that comes in and says, I want to get a good grade, so I'm going to do the entire assignment and you people don't have to do anything. Okay, that's wrong. That person is robbing every other member of their group the learning opportunity that comes from doing that project. You're also losing, all of you are losing the opportunity to build your teamwork skills that are so valued in the Canadian workplace. The other side is the student that doesn't do anything or doesn't say anything in group meetings or doesn't participate. That's also wrong. It can be challenging to take part in discussions and to understand what you need to do if you're not comfortable doing that kind of work. If you find it difficult to speak up in group meetings, send material by email. Prepare an email with your ideas and send it out in advance of the meeting as a way of contributing. It's important that every member take a role, an active role in the group work. And if you're one of the students that would like to take a leadership role, you can take a leadership role by ensuring that every member of your group has an opportunity to speak, has an opportunity to, to, an opportunity to contribute. That's how you can take a leadership role in group work.